Welcome to the Fields COVID-19 seminar. I'm going to pass you over to our director, Kumar Murthy, who will introduce our speaker. Good uh, morning, uh, everyone. Actually, I'm going to be good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. <laughs> I keep having to understand that uh, in the internet world, you could be anywhere in the world listening to this. So welcome to the, to the seminar, our weekly uh, seminar on the mathematics of uh, COVID. Uh, today, we're very happy to have uh, speakers Hoping Zhu from York University and the Fields Institute. He's well known uh, in the world of epidemiology, mathematical modeling, uh, and he's director of the Center for Disease Modeling. And today, he will speak about Bang Kang Shelter Hospital and control of COVID-19 in Wuhan. Hoping. I, I shall start. <laughs> yes, please, please, yes. Uh, good morning. Uh, first, uh, thanks Kuma and uh, Jian Hong for the invitation uh, for, to give me the opportunity to present uh, some of our work. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about is, uh, the title is Fontan Shelter Hospitals and Control of uh, COVID-19 in Wuhan. Uh, so this is the plan of my uh, presentation. Uh, first, I will briefly uh, introduce uh, the current pandemic, si pandemic situation. I believe like we all know currently how uh, bad it is. Uh, the second, uh, I will introduce uh, and present how the question is how Wuhan uh, succeed in ending the, the spread. Uh, I will then present the data to start the modeling. Uh, of course, I will show the simulations and, and generate some advice for public health. Uh, so depends on the time. So I will add so the continuation work based on the modeling in Wuhan and some more considerations. Uh, in fact, this is the, the talk is based on the paper uh, just uh, in process uh, by WHO uh, Bulletin of the World uh, Health Organization. Uh, so it's a teamwork. Uh, so the, this. In, well. So in fact, we, we have uh, a lot of collaborators uh, to have a big team here. Uh, also, I would especially uh, thank uh, uh, the Mathematical uh, Modeling Task Force of Fierce Institute. Also, this is supported by uh, CIHR NSEC, MyTex, York University. So the first part, uh, the, the pandemic situation uh, of the COVID-19. Uh, as you can see from this, so this is the, the, with the source of, of WHO uh, generated by, uh, in fact, uh, Dr. Lu from Suzhou CDC. Uh, so I use this figure. So you, as you can see from, uh, this is January, uh, uh, January 22nd, these numbers has been reached. So this is the daily new confirmed cases. The highest was October 11th. It, it was already uh, 347,000 daily cases worldwide. Uh, also, if you see the trend globally from the beginning, it's keep, it keep increasing. Uh, it does not really show a, a turning point uh, yet. The, the global situation is, is really uh, serious. Uh, as a source, well, we can see uh, is from the John Hos uh, uh, Hopkins Hospital. Uh, they have this information. If you see globally, so this is of course the USA, this is uh, South America. And if you look at this part, so uh, we are Wuhan with the study area we, we will do. This is the China, you see, 
now it, currently there are less cases uh, in fact looking at the spreading of the COVID-19 uh, globally you see the, the so so much variations across the different regions and countries uh, some places ended the endemic some places are still uh, are going on the second wave so the question to ask so why it is like this now let's look at the situation in canada so this is the total uh, 182,000 uh, cases uh, also different regions uh, have different number of confirmed cases if we look at the ontario this part uh, in fact this morning uh, there are another 649 new cases reported so we are on the peaking uh, of the wave i don't know if we should call it the second wave or it's a continuation of uh, the increasing trend so this is the situation <laughs> uh for so we are mathematicians so this is a mathematical uh, task force uh, for, for COVID-19 so for this of course like from the very beginning a lot of mathematicians applied mathematicians uh, modelers started this work uh, I just listed two in fact there are so many the first is by Jian Hong's uh, group Tangbiao and uh, so you can see this was uh, dated February 7th. Uh, also like uh, Jing Anqi, one of the co-authors of the paper and his co-workers uh, published a paper, you see this was February 28th. So from the very beginning, uh, so many people are interested in, in the spreading of uh, the COVID-19 in Wuhan. So I just listed the two uh, uh, which we are associated. Of course, there are many feeds for the, because Wuhan is in China. So a lot of Chinese colleagues, so I only listed a few and their groups uh, contributed a lot of modeling work to study uh, the transmission and control. Uh, in particularly, Zhang uh, Yitang and Xiao's group generated a lot of uh, short-term forecasting result. So the last two are uh, two papers I involved uh, with. In fact, there are other few papers I didn't list it. So these are the just lately uh, ones. What just to to mention uh, one paper considering the special transmission is like we mentioned the, the fourth uh, in fact this paper is by Zhigui's group and Dehai. So we considered the fourth higher response system. This is similar to Ontario we have different stages. So in other words more modeling studies uh, we have already really great many of uh, publications modeling studies uh, about the transmission of the COVID in Wuhan. Uh, so in, in this paper or in my presentation, what I will focus on is uh, we want to, 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 to you see how or why Wuhan curbed the COVID-19. Uh, to see if any experience or lessons uh, to learn. Uh, so this is a report by BBC so that was on March 10th. Uh, it was reported that co coronavirus China says disease curbed in Wuhan and Hubei. So that this was uh, the BBC news. Uh, so I, as I mentioned for the experience in Wuhan we are interested in how they uh, curbed the, 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 or finished the, 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 the uh, succeed in the fighting uh, of the virus. 
So if you look at the data, so this is the data in earlier data till, in fact, only till July 11th. So if you look at the first part, so January 22nd, the reason I started from here, because we have another study about before lockdown. So this is, we, we are only look at uh, after lockdown. So that was January 23rd. Starting of that date, if you look at the trend, of course, like the daily new confirmed cases keep increasing and then it's dropped. And by officially, so there was this report uh, April 7th. So the, the Wuhan finished the fighting, fighting and, and uh, the transmission of Wuhan being controlled. So what we are interested in is here, you see, down the hill, start from the top to, to, to the bottom, to so this part, how Wuhan really did that. Uh, now, if we look back uh, of what happened after January 23rd, the first is, of course, lockdown of the city. So the, the whole city was close to a 10 million population. The, the max city was locked down. Uh, and immediately, there were designated hospitals being built. Wuhan, Lishan, and uh, hospitals were built. So this is the, 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 the photo of the one uh, of the hospital built. So this is, we call it designated hospitals. So this type of hospitals accept, admit uh, both mild and severely infected individuals. So this was the, from, from the beginning. We all uh, uh, witnessed how fast they built this hospital. In fact, at the beginning, they were planning uh, to what, what they were hoping that with the building up of the designated hospitals, they would see uh, the ending uh, uh, of the transmission. But in fact, it didn't happen as expected. Then, till February 5th, uh, the government started to build. Huangshan Shared Hospital. So this is the, the, the Huangshan Shared Hospital. So from January 23rd till February 5th, so this is a little bit longer than the, 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 the incubation period. And the data shows like daily, even though more hospital, designated hospital bed were built, but the numbers keep increasing. At the same time, uh, also from the data and the, the, the fact uh, in Wuhan, you see, the, the city was locked down, the community was also locked, uh, also people staying home, isolated, staying home. Then the problem still continues. Why? And then uh, this, is, this was a report by uh, CNN. So in this report, they call the, the, the Fansan Hospital Field Hospital. Also in the news, uh, the reporter was saying some of the people jammed inside uh, perfectly healthy. So this is, in fact, you see, for many people, this Fansan Hospital, or what they are doing is really uh, something new. For our paper, in fact, when we submitted, so the date we finished was uh, April 7th, you see, just about the date Wuhan uh, won the battle. So on that date, when we, the first name we used, you see, we, we, we considered uh, Fields Hospital, <laughs> Fields Institute, Fields Hospital. And then we used MCP, uh, MCH, Mobile Cabin Hospitals. So when we submitted the paper, the WHO, uh, the, the, the editor, uh, uh, associate ed editor, I forgot it's editor in chief or associate editor, like said, suggest not to use uh, mobile cabin hospital 
but she, she was not sure what to use, but suggested what she knew we should call it observation ward. So in the first version we submitted, we call it observation ward. Of course, observa observation ward, uh, the number of batch are limited, are small, usually like six to eight, uh, there, are, there are less number of batch. Uh, later, when we submitted the revision, uh, there is a Lancet paper officially introduced a new concept of responding to public health. So, which is, they call it Fontan Shared Hospitals. Then we started to use, in the paper, we changed back to Fontan Shared Hospital. For this hospital, in fact, uh, as I mentioned, the first uh, Fontan Shared Hospital in Wuhan was called Jiang Han uh, Fontan Hospital. So it was on the day of February 5th. So this hospital started to admit uh, the first patch of confirmed mild infected cases. So it is worth to mention for this uh, thousand of people uh, admitted into this shared hospital, they all recovered none of them became severely infected. And also starting on February 5th, Wuhan, the government and Hubei, you see they decided to speed up the build of, of more and more Fontan hospitals. So they have the objective, uh, object, like, uh, objective, uh, or they, they have the goal, make sure that no confirmed cases should wait for bad. This was uh, the, the, uh, the effort they were uh, making. Uh, talking about the ideas, in fact, I want to show uh, some something. Uh, I look at the history related to the Chinese fighting the pandemic and the plagues. Uh, it's interesting to note, like, uh, in, in very earlier, the, the characters of Chinese characters, you see, we, I show two figures. The right one, in fact, it's, it's the illness, sick. Uh, so the right, right part uh, is, is the bad. So you see a, a person with like sweating drops, basically like the, the person is sick, lying on the bed. And also this is the oracle, you see, we have this plague, the, the, the word means plague or endemic, uh, epidemic. So it shows like on the bed, more people, uh, two, two people, means like uh, uh, epidemic or, or, or plague. So also in Han Dynasty, in Han Dynasty, you see their record shows like, so what, if, if some kind of plague or infectious diseases started, what they do is they empty, you see here, so kong di di, in Chinese means like empty the horses for patients, prepare the medicine. You see, this is in fact what till now, uh, 2020, Fontan Shared Hospital was put in use. To, 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 to fight the, 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 the epidemic. So another picture I want to show, in fact, starting of the, the, the before lockdown, you see the, 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 the epidemic started. So this is just like burning wood or burning a house. So not like this is something we have never seen before. So it's all similar to the uh, 1918 uh, pandemic flu. But here is something suddenly happened. So this is just like burning wood. Depends on what kind of wood. We all have experience on burning wood. You see, if the wood is wet or not easily to burn, so in fact, you do not need to worry. Uh, just take your time, use some water to, to wipe out the, the, the fire. But if it is a house on fire, you see, just like the house on fire in, in, in the photo, if you do not 
started to fight the fire earlier and in time, the, the house will burn out. Especially, uh, we will have the experience. So this, this type of burning wood or house. So after it's passed through certain key point, if you still want to, to put out the fire, you may be able, even though you have more water or whatever uh, uh, tools, it may be impossible to really uh, control the fire. So I want to use this as an example. Uh, in fact, to mimic, uh, you see the fire started uh, in Wuhan and how Wuhan uh, used the resources to fight the, 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 to, to finish the, the, the epidemic. So here I want to sum, summarize, of course, like fighting the COVID-19 in Wuhan involved so many different aspects of effort. Also, there are so many different factors working together leading to the success. So we do not have plan to, to summarize uh, everything, it's impossible. Uh, also, I already, even mathematical modeling studies, there are great many of research publications about the transmission. So here we only focus on two factors. One, as I just introduced, uh, show the process, because we set our focus on uh, these two things. First is the Fontan Shelter Hospitals. So here, of course, like you put people into the hospital. Those, who are those people? Those people are mild, infected, confirmed cases. So in order to confirm they are mild infected, you need to do contact tracing and test. So here, assuming this was done, assuming Wuhan was doing contact and tracing and test. So after you test and confirm those cases, how to handle them? So it's two possibilities. Either you see, ask them to stay home or you move them uh, collectively to a place to, to uh, group isolated them. So this is, uh, I consider uh, the Fontan Shared Hospital is one factor, assuming contact tracing and test is, is done, was done. The second, even though you have a lot of bats involved, a lot involve a lot of infected, both mild and severely infected people, but you need person to take care of them, to treat them. So this person, in fact, uh, we call it healthcare personnel, HCP. Uh, also, another assumption, assuming we have, uh, they have enough number of HCPs. So we will look at how these two factors contribute uh, to the curbing of the Wuhan uh, uh, epidemic. So in fact, like looking at the data, the early stage, a lot of uh, healthcare personnel died from the fighting. So you will, I will show the data, we have the data. So this, this, this uh, paper, in fact, we, 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 we dedicated to the healthcare personnel who have uh, fought on the front line of the epidemic in Wuhan. Now let's look at the data. So this is the data we, as I mentioned, uh, again, we start on January 23rd, uh, the lockdown of the city, till uh, March, 20, March 17th. Uh, only this period. It is this period when we have finished the, uh, the fight. So the data shows the first is the star from the bottom. You can see these are the daily new cases, uh, total daily new cases. Uh, total new cases. You can see from the beginning it keep increases, especially till February 5th, you see this is the February 5th. So even though there are two, two and more designated hospital were built, the daily new cases keep uh, increasing. 
And then starting off, this uh, occupied bed in Fontan Shared Hospital. This was started on February 5th, between 4 and 6. So starting this day, so this number of hospital bed in Fontan Shared Hospitals were occupied, were occupied. As you can see, from this day, more and more beds were put into use. So the, of course, like, so in this process, uh, you can imagine earlier people uh, admitted and then uh, they re recover, they will leave. Uh, more people coming in the whole process, more and more Fontan uh, Hospital were, were, were built. So this is the second data. The third data to show, this is the uh, dots, round dots. You see, this look at the right panel. From the beginning, a lot of HCPs, healthcare personnel, died from the infection. You see, the first study of uh, 66 or 65, uh, daily, the, this number of hosp hospital uh, care workers uh, died from the infection. Uh, not died, cases, new, uh, 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 new cases of healthcare personnel get infected. Especially, you see, this is February 5th. These numbers are in the designated hospital because later we, 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 we talked to many doctors and learned that in fact, that first stage after locking down till the starting of using Fontan Hospital, uh, people have really have no experience about uh, this. They didn't really understand the virus. Those health care workers are, are so brief to help uh, to, 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 to treat the infected people. So that's why hospital infection was serious till uh, February 11th. So these are the data. So if you look at the data, obviously uh, it reminds you to treat this process by stages. So this stage, uh, we class divide this into three uh, stages. The first is starting of lockdown till the building, uh, before the building of Fontan Hospital. So this is, we call it uh, T0 to T1. The second is time period to February 22nd. What make it special for February 22nd? So you see here. So it's the date officially reported uh, they do not need to build more Fountain Hospital. They plan to build 30,000. But till that day, you see, already empty beds appeared. You see, there is, there's, on February 22nd, more and more empty beds uh, appeared, waiting for the confirmed cases. And then starting from that day till uh, March, 30, uh, March 13th, you see this whole process uh, finished. So we, we look at this into uh, three uh, phases. Yeah, in fact, this is, I keep this, this, this was the first figure we, 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 uh, the, we generated, we call it observation ward. But in fact, these are the uh, Fontan Hospital. But So in the whole process, we, we focus on the number of hospital beds. But so here we introduce two important state variables, uh, the parameters. One is the hospital bed in designated hospital, you see, uh, we denoted by D B1. So at the beginning, you have B1 T0 number of, because we already have, uh, have the hospitals to, uh, to admit and treat the infected. And these are the designated uh, hospitals. B1 is the daily designated hospital built. You see, this is a accumulation process. So as T uh, goes on, you see the number of hospital beds in the designated hospitals keep increasing. 
So this is P1. For the Fontan shelter hospitals, so we denote the number of uh, the beds as B2T. So the total number of Fontan shelter hospitals, because there's starting from zero, which is February 5th, and then B2S is the daily new beds built. So the increasing give you till T day, uh, smaller T day. These are the total number of new uh, Fontan hospital bed built. So in fact, we are going to use these two uh, function to see how these two functions uh, change the, 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 the epidemic situation in the model. Now we start uh, the, the modeling. For the model, uh, mathematical modeling, uh, we you always like uh, need to put on some uh, modeling settings, uh, making some assumptions. So here, our assumption indeed uh, is, is huge or big. So these assumptions, the first assumption is uh, the contact tracing and testing. Because without contact tracing and testing, you are not able to find out who are uh, mild infected, who are asymptomatic infected, who are severely infected. Maybe severely infected, can, you can easily uh, recognize, but still need a testing. So the first, we assume Wuhan uh, did the full contact tracing and testing. The second, the medical or healthcare resources. You see, the hospital bed uh, keep changing because originally there was no Fontan hospital. The beds are building, but they need people. Where are the people come from? So in fact, uh, during that period, healthcare personnel from all of the country like was uh, at, uh, accepted in Wuhan. So the second assumption we assume there are sufficient enough number of healthcare personnel to fill up the, 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 the new built hospitals. In fact, at the end, I will mention, you see the difference. So different assumption leading to different result. So here, for example, if Wuhan didn't do the contact tracing and testing, but even though you have Fontan Hospital, it doesn't help. Also, like what will happen if they do not, you see, you have confirmed cases, you put them home, isolation. But what will happen? It, it, Wuhan experience proved. So if you let them stay home, you see, the cases are keep increasing. So here we make two big uh, assumptions for the transmission in Wuhan. Uh, now let's look at the first phase. So I, I will explain uh, the diagram. Uh, you see the, the sub-index W, in fact, we use to refer to Wuhan. <coughs> H is Han. Wuhan. Uh, but here also H refers to hospital. So this is uh, non-healthcare non people. This is from susceptible to exposed. Uh, so IW1, IW2. IW1 is uh, no symptoms, but infectious. After uh, IW2 is uh, with symptoms and infectious. RW is recovered. Now in the first stage till February 5th, we only have the designated hospitals. So these hospitals, people working in the hospitals, these are uh, SEI, of course, like the, if they have, they, are, I, they have symptoms and tested, they will, so this is in fact the, 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 the hospital, they will be admitted to hospital to leave the job. So once there are people, hospital care workers leave the job, you see from the top, you can see. 
these are the new number of people needed. Then by the big assumption, so these people will, will enter hospital to work. I need to, to, to speed up. Uh, one very important part is that you see from IW2 to IWB1. So this is the number of hospital beds available in designated hospitals. It's not like anybody you, you, you confirmed they are able to immediately get into the designated hospital. They have to wait. If there's no bed, they have to wait. Where do they wait? You see, either go back home or you find some other places you can imagine, try to cure the, 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 the infection. Because that is the early stage during the spring festival. So you can, you can imagine at the beginning, it's really a mess. A lot of people waited to be accepted into the designated hospital. So we use R1 to calculate the number of hospital, uh, number of people needed to enter hospital, and then to calculate the number of hospital beds available to see every day how many people are getting into the designated hospitals. So this is a model, of course, like. Uh, we are a modelers. So this model is just the typical compartmental model. We just have more compartments. Again, I would mention, you see the healthcare workers, this brackets, this part, other people, unconditionally, if you need this number of hospital care workers, they are in place. Also at the bottom, we have this formula to update daily the number of hospital beds available for the new confirmed cases, uh, for, for the cases to be able to admit it into the designated hospital. So this is phase one. Now let's look at phase two. Uh, the phase two is similar, but what is different is at the bottom, we have Fontan hospitals. So now for general people, uh, population, uh, if they are severely infected, they will be admitted into the designated hospital. If they are mildly conf confirmed, mild cases, they will be admitted into the Fontan Hospital. But at this stage, before February 22nd, the beds in two hospitals are not enough. So people have to wait. How many people out there are waiting? So again, we use R1 and R2 to count the number of people daily admitted into these two type of hospitals. And then you can see those people who were not admitted into these two, two type of hospitals, they will be out there loose, either stay home or you see still running around seeking for treatment. So this situation changed till uh, the third stage of phase three, uh, phase two. Uh, this is a model for phase two. Now we have three big, big uh, unit. So this is general public. Uh, this is uh, the, the designated hospital. This is the Fontan Hospital. We have two formulas to count the, the, hosp uh, the, 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 the hospital bed available. So of course we will have three models, uh, three systems of models. This is for general uh, general public. This is for healthcare workers in designated hospital. So this is for uh, the people in the uh, Fontan Hospital. So I'm sorry, I haven't changed this uh, uh, OW observation ward. So this is the phase three. You can see the phase three. Uh, L1, L2 are removed because starting of February 22nd, we have enough beds waiting to admit people. So anybody tested confirmed, immediately they are admitted into these two, two hospitals uh, respectively. And then the model is simplified uh, comparing to the previous model. We have the model for phase three with enough Fontan hospitals. So that is the model. Uh, using the data we have, 
and the population data in, in Wuhan, we are able to do some simulations. Uh, due to time, I, I will to be I will try fast. Uh, this is a simulation uh, to fit the data. Uh, the early stage because the time is short. Uh, the, the data we, we the data we have enough data to fit the uh, the solution with the data, so it shows good result. Uh, this is less important. So I, I believe every, people doing modeling are able to use data to do this. Uh, so what I want to show is, you see, February 5th was the date to start the Fountain Hospital. How about uh, we start earlier or later? You see, the earliest is if we start to build the Fountain Hospital, instead of uh, designated hospital, showing the red, you see this is the bottom one. So if from the very beginning, we focus on building the Fountain Hospital, you see this endemic in Wuhan would end it sooner. The blue one is the real uh, actual data and the simulation. Of course, like if, it's, if you build later, you see, more people will get infected. But if you, if you build one day later, February 6, you can see, look at the right panel, so more people will be infected. So this is a big jump. You see this jump, so if, you do, if we didn't start the Fonz Hospital, but with one day late, you see totally there are between two, 0.5 to 3 million people will be infected. Also, the cum cum uh, accumulative number of uh, deaths. You see, these are, you see the differences. The blue one is the data. Uh, if we, the, the red one at the bottom. So of course, like if we build the, the, the Fontan Hospital earlier, from the beginning of uh, January 23rd, in fact, Wuhan would have controlled this so earlier with much less number of deaths. But if we build one day late, you see, there are about uh, 1.4 uh, million of people uh, will die. So here, I want to explain, you see, I showed the burning house. In fact, like you see, February 5th was using the simulation we confirmed. So it's the last date to start to, 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 uh, to, to, to save the, uh, to put out the fire. So after that date, so the house is burning in, in, a, in a full trend. And then even though you have more beds, so it will be very hard to really con control it. Uh, this other, you see, you would say, how about we uh, uh, hide the, the NPIs to, 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 to reduce the contact uh, transmission <laughs> rate. So if we reduce by uh, two, two percent, uh, twenty percent, you can see still uh, the endemic would be uh, very higher. So basically, comparing to using NPIs and put building more hospital beds, you see building more hospital beds is so important. Comparing to you ask people to pay attention to the count. Uh, to, to the uh, contact uh, transmission. Uh, so in fact, this is uh, the, 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 the important uh, findings. You see, February 5th is the last date to, 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 to really uh, to be successful if we want to save, put out the fire. So if it is one day late, later, the, the, the situation will become out of control. More people will be infected also it will induce more deaths. 
and the, the, the epidemic will last much longer. Instead of 17, uh, 70 days, it will like about 200 days. So this is, uh, but the conclusion here is, uh, we have two types of hospitals. One type is des designated hospitals help to, to save lives. Uh, for se severe infected people, you, you put them uh, into designated hospitals. Uh, the second type of Fangshan Hospital. So for Wuhan, it was really the increased hospital bed capacity of the large number of Fangshan Hospitals that helped slow, slow down and eventually stop the, the uh, epidemic. You see, by this study, this is advice for public health. Of course, the first, we didn't include uh, the contact tracing and testing, but this is most important, but Wuhan did it. So Wuhan did the full, like complete contact tracing and testing for what find the resources of infection and then put, put them building large number of temporary hospitals, Fontan hospitals, put them into the hospital. So for the advice uh, for public health worldwide, whenever it is possible, we need to build temporary hospitals for the purpose of isolate groups of people with mild symptoms. The condition is if effective household isolation is not possible. So if you are, you, even though you, you, you apply NPIs, social distancing, uh, staying home policy, but still, if those policies are not enough, testing, tracing, and building temporary hospitals uh, is the key. Uh, I will just mention one thing. <clears throat> Uh, in fact, I, I have several items. Uh, one thing is, so why Wuhan from the February, uh, the January 23rd to February 5th didn't work, you see. You put people isolated in homes, but still the numbers of people keep increasing. So this is related to the household effects of household isolation. So according to this advice, so we look at uh, uh, how the stay at home policy affect the transmission. So th this is the, 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 the next paper we, uh, we finished and submitted. But in that paper, we solved the problem uh, why Wuhan didn't succeed, uh, even though you build a lot of designated hospitals. From that, we conclude uh, it was that really the Fontan uh, Shattering Hospital helped uh, control the, the Wuhan epidemic. Because there are more things uh, we, we related to, to that studies. For example, asymptomatic infection, uh, the role of asymptomatic in infection. So the, the mm -hmm. what happened? Wrong key. Well, what's your movie now, Fabian? Huh? <laughs> well, what's your movie now? No, no, it's just last two, I will show only the last two uh, slides. Uh, yeah, the, the one is contact tracing and testing in Wuhan as a citizen in China. It, it is worth to mention in Qingdao, not 9 million. 72 hours tested 6 million people. Uh, try to just due to the few cases in, 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 in Qingdao. Of course, like the bottom, we, I want to, to mention, you see, for Toronto, we have this many cases. Huh? Should we build more functional hospitals? If we build, how many we should build? So this is the first. The second is the household isolation. If the household isolation, you isolate people for so long. So, of course, like, if you continue to, 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 to hold them, what will happen? So this is, uh, the, we also look at, uh, I mentioned, we, we, in the, this paper, we look at after lockdown, but what happened before lockdown? There are even more studies. Uh, we, we are also doing that. 
uh, also asymptomatic infection uh, cases. Uh, thank you. I will stop here. Uh, Thank you very much, Hai Ping, for your uh, presentation. And uh, I apologize, I came a little bit later for other events. And uh, now we have the opportunity for the audience to raise questions. You can raise a hand or you can send a WeChat request and uh, we'll let you raise the question directly. Now, before that, Hai Ping, um, can you summarize the discussion in one or two slides that uh, you can send this to the Ontario Minister. I think they will be very interested in some of the recommendations you're making. Yeah, in fact, this, this, this is, you know, we, 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 we for the paper to be public, uh, published in WHO, which is online now. So it is, it, they have some edit, editor, uh, editing committee, did the edit. So this other, in fact, at the bottom. Uh, so this is the, because it it was translated into multiple languages uh, as, as as advice. Uh, first, like you see, of course, doing contact tracing and testing. The second, so if you are not able to household uh, isolation effectively, so building uh, temporary hospitals, for, for example, using schools, gyms to build uh, funds on shared type of hospitals to isolate those confirmed cases. So this is the key. Otherwise, this will be repeated. You, you will, you, just like what is happening now, you don't know when you will see an end. So this is the advice uh, from the, the, the paper. Yeah, you, you are right. In fact, like you, you see, uh, I, I may write up this and send it to you and uh, Kuma and Sarah. Yeah, so it would be very nice. Actually, the, uh, the, the table meet on Wednesday. So if, uh, and it's urgent issues now, given that uh, we're in the, uh, the second wave and uh, Yeah, in uh, fact. Any other questions from the audience? And um, and um, you, you draw a very good audience. This is from Sarah. Um, so, Sarah, why don't just open to, uh, ask a question directly? Of course. Of course, I was being shy. Uh, thank you. That was really interesting. Um, just, I'm very interested about how they staffed these uh, temporary hospitals. They had a big flagship one they built in London, UK, and unfortunately, they uh, received very few um, patients because they couldn't staff them. They didn't have enough uh, doctors or nurses. And I was wondering how. I understand uh, the main point here is that they're for people with mild symptoms. But uh, did they use sort of ancillary staff, or did they actually have proper medical trained staff? How did that work? Do you know? Yeah, this is, as I mentioned, this is a big assumption because the country were able to call upon all the healthcare personnel from other provinces. Uh, so basically, uh, just like focus, contribute all the resources to, to control the cases in Wuhan. So in China, they, they have this. In fact, I, I thank you for mentioning this. Last night, I was... Uh, I reading the news. In fact, the England has started to use uh, reopen the Fountain Hospital. They they have the problem of they lack they are lack of uh, lacking of uh, healthcare personnel. So yeah. this is a big problem. Yeah, indeed, the health yeah. resources. So I think maybe only certain uh, countries that can really pull the resources in this way, like Canada, could in fact do a similar thing if we were willing to. Uh, uh, support moving health staff from areas with lower infection rates during the pandemic that might work. So we bring people in from provinces that don't have as high a rate as we have here, but that would be an option for Canada. Okay, that's very interesting. Thank you for your answer. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> now, question from Mark Penny. You raised a question. Uh, maybe you can ask directly. I, I certainly can. Thank you. Um, I was interested in um, if you could discuss a little uh, some of the factors which lead to this really big difference in number of cases between starting on the fifth or sixth. For example, one thing which I wonder is, um, is this assuming, for example, that 
during the course of the epidemic, you don't expand uh, the number of beds available in Hong Kong hospitals or increase the rate of admission into those uh, hospital beds. So is this large number of difference, uh, large number of differences in cases related to um, like the inability to expand fast enough or something along those lines? I just, it's such a huge difference. I'm interested to hear a little more on what you think uh, led to this. Yeah, yeah, thank you for, for this. Even though I was trying to, uh, I forgot to mention. So what would happen if we, you see the simulation uh, shows, if you look at uh, the, the first one. So the test curve, uh, if we started the Fontan Hospital one day later, uh, this is under the assumption, you see, after February 6, you maintain the level of Fontan Hospital bed. You do not build. Uh, this is just like daily build. The number of, uh, in fact, daily about 800 to 900 new beds built. So if you keep the level, uh, but late, till you start the, the, the build the uh, Fontan use the hospital late, uh, one day. The reason is, as, as I just mentioned, uh, because if you start it late to, to immediately admit the, the mild cases, you let them on loose, just like you see uh, the, the first few days started uh, uh, after the lockdown. You see, these people will generate more uh, infection. Also, we should mention, you see, these are not in Wuhan was estimated. You see, the, the range, you see, some people uh, estimated two point something. Some papers estimated uh, bigger than five. So anyway, it's, it's a fast spreading uh, process. Also, I didn't mention before lockdown, this uh, exponential growth with large basic reproduction number has already started, you see, uh, early December. So this whole process is just, just like burning the house. So I consider it's reasonable burning the house till that uh, moment. So if you do not save it uh, to, to, to make the effort, the, the next moment the, the, the house will, will crash. Mm -hmm. This is due to the exponential growth. Mm -hmm. So if you have, even though you see the, uh, the assumption is you maintain the level of the Fountain Hospital bed. Also mm -hmm. the consequences is you have this number of beds. Mm -hmm. Also the people admitted in the hospital, they will have to wait, you see, mm -hmm. at least two weeks to, to, to make beds available. Uh -huh. So basically in this process, it's the, it's the situation of Song Wuhan the hospital, uh, the, the hospital system will crash. So mm -hmm. after that is crashed because no beds, no place to go, then this is what happened. This is what would happen. Out of curiosity, have you thought about how rapidly they would need to, need to have, say they started at a later date, but they allowed for um, an increase in the number of beds at an even faster rate or, or something. I, I wonder if they, you could calibrate how large the response would have had to have been depending on when they started opening Hong Kong hospitals to maintain a similar uh, number of cases, for example. Does, does yeah, it become incredibly a, unreasonable or? Good question. <laughs> In fact, if I catch, what, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. but uh, uh, this, this is uh, the, the first study we, we, we you see finished April uh, 6. So we, we were trying to explain, especially we see a lot of healthcare workers in China, in fact, get infected. That also mm -hmm. during the spring festival period. Mm -hmm. So that's why we decided to, to, to look at this issue. But you, you are right, there are a lot of details we were not able to, to include in, in, in the paper, including the question you asked. We also, you see, the test uh, effectiveness. Mm -hmm. This is the test rate. So in fact, like you see, you, even though we make assumption each, uh, you, you have contact tracing and test. So how efficient, so if the, 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 the effectiveness of the contact tracing and test uh, contributed to, you see, the data would, would, would change if you do a ju uh, justification of uh, mm -hmm. using the, 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 the effective effectiveness of, of testing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. This is a very interesting talk.
Thank you. <clears throat> okay, with this, and I would like to again thank uh, Kai Ping and on behalf of the uh, Institute and on behalf of National Task Force that you're part of it. And uh, again, I think it's important uh, message and uh, uh, Kuma also said it's important that if we can get uh, two pieces of uh, slides from you that we can present it to the Ontario government as well. With that, again, thank you very much. And the uh, presentation is video recorded, so we'll, uh, you can revisit those presentation again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.